starts right now. And off the top of 5 o'clock on this Friday, we are tracking Tropical Depression 9 in the Caribbean, and Florida is in the cone of concern. These are the latest forecast models for the projected path of the storm. Your weather authority will break them down for you. And here is a live look at the size of Tropical Depression 9 as the 5 p.m. advisory comes in from the National Hurricane Center. Governor Ron DeSantis just issued a state of emergency for 24 counties, including Broward, Miami-Dade, and Monroe counties. Hurricane specialist and storm surge expert Michael Lowry and Chief Certified Meteorologist Betty Davis have your tropical update. Betty, let's start with you. Hi, everyone. Not yet a tropical storm. It's still a tropical depression, so it has some organizing to do before it gets that upgrade. So let's run through the stats. The system is 430 miles at this point east southeast of Kingston, Jamaica. By the way, Jamaica going under a tropical storm watch shows so tropical storm conditions possible there on uh, Sunday. Uh, winds of 35 miles per hour as it's moving west northwest at 15 miles per hour. Here is a look at the forecast cone from the National Hurricane Center. Notice it does show it's strengthening to a tropical storm as it approaches Jamaica on Sunday and then a hurricane as it's approaching the Cayman Islands on Monday. And by the way, there's a hurricane watch for the Cayman Islands and then check out that Monday evening into Tuesday time frame, making a trip near western Cuba heading over and into the southeastern Gulf of Mexico. It goes category two hurricane status and notice the Keys and also South Florida, the Florida Peninsula still in this forecast cone. It's forecast to become a major hurricane. So clearly there is still some uncertainty. Michael, are you noticing anything with this forecast cone, was there a slight shift maybe to the left in the end of the time frame, just a little bit maybe? Maybe just a little bit, Betty. Yeah, not a big change there in the forecast from the Hurricane Center at five. What I'm most interested in, though, right now, when you look at the visible satellite picture, is where the center of circulation takes shape. This one is still a very disorganized tropical depression at this point. We do have hurricane hunters that are on their way out to investigate to see how strong the winds are. We get focused on whether or not this tropical depression, tropical storm, it's really just five miles per hour that differentiates between a tropical depression and a storm. You can clearly see the spin to the clouds here, but what's going to be interesting is where those thunderstorms come together. If they come together farther to the south down here than to the north, that's going to impact where this is ultimately going to head. The reason it's disorganized right now is we have a lot of shear raining down on top of it. Look up to the north of the screen here. You see this is Hurricane Fiona, big category four hurricane, big story there for Canada and the Maritimes, but the outflow from this going all the way down into the Caribbean. We also have an upper level area of low pressure that is channeling those strong winds over tropical depression nine. So both of those things sort of keeping this in check right now, but Fiona is going to move off to the north. That's going to exit the scene. We're going to have tropical storm Ian more than likely here over the next 24 hours. That's going to be moving to the west. Wind shear is going to relax a little bit, allow this to gradually strengthen. So where is it going to head from there? We have a big dip in the jet stream that's going to come down across the southeast US, bring in some fall like temperatures, and that's going to start to pull this to the north. But going back to what I was talking about earlier, it really depends on where the center of circulation takes shape. You can see our computer models right now showing anywhere from the southern Gulf, even to east of Florida as possibilities. Those are sort of the goalposts, if you will. The majority of the models right there in the middle, and that's what the Hurricane Center is going with right now, sort of the consensus, as they call it, which is our main, most reliable computer models. This is next Monday into Tuesday. So sort of the upshot for us is that we're square in the threat here. Uh, if you live anywhere in South Florida, be prepared for the possibility that we're going to see evacuation orders at some point over the weekend. Of course, listen to your uh, your local uh, officials in terms of you know where you should go and when you should go. Um, but just sort of get in that mindset. We could see tropical storm conditions impacting South Florida as early as early as Tuesday morning. So this one's going to creep up on us really quickly. And the concern here is that. As it gets into the Western Caribbean, there is the possibility that this could strengthen to a pretty significant hurricane. So still a big threat here for us in South Florida, something we're going to keep a close eye to because like football, hurricanes can be a game of inches. And this one may be the case uh, for uh, what will likely become Tropical Storm Ian. Okay, uh, hopefully it creeps in and leaves us yeah. quickly too.